Hey guys, what's up? Kaolin here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an Ultimate Team and today we're going to be reviewing 82 rated Gold Darwin Nunez. Now, it's not the Evolutions card, it's just a straightforward Gold card just so you guys can get an idea of how good he is in game and then determine from there whether or not you guys want to go ahead and use him as your Evolution Striker. Now, having a look at the player bio, he's 6 foot 2 tall, high high work rates with 3 star skills and a 3 star weak foot, but you can improve the weak foot if you do take this card as your evolution striker. His right foot is primarily with the controlled lengthy accelerator type. Can start a striker, centre forward and left wing. Liverpool, Premier League and Uruguayan links as well. Now when it comes down to the attribute details, I've decided to keep the basic chem style on him. And I know it doesn't show the basic chem style on at the moment. That's because I decided to co-op with somebody to get this video done. But anyway, using footprint to go through the stats is going to have plus 4 to the sprint speed plus 4 to the attack positioning and shot power and volleys and penalties and the passing is going to have plus 4 to vision, short pass, long pass and curve so the passing is going to go up to 74 which is decent dribbling looks solid as well, 82 agility with 80 ball control and dribbling and when it comes down to the physicality it's going to have 98 jumping with 89 strength that coupled with the 88 stamina I'm expecting him to be pretty good and definitely last the full 90 minutes now when it comes down to the play styles on the card which you guys will see in just a second if I'm not mistaken he does have unfortunately no shooting traits but he does have the rapid ball control playstyle as well as the quick step physical playstyle so I'm gonna try this card out as striker and without further ado let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 82 rated gold rare Darwin Nunez and starting off here with a pretty easy goal Burkham wins possession here and Darwin Nunez is able to just get in behind and hold his run, stay on side and he has a tap in at the end of it. On to the next goal, is it going to be another tap in here? Burkham cannot get that pass back but we do end up winning the ball back with Kovacic. Kovacic gets that into Papan, Papan gets that into Darwin Nunez with a pretty good finish, not so straightforward but I'm expecting him to score that 10 times out of 10 and he does good finish from him and we do end up getting, like I said, the second goal of this video but we still want more of course here Burkham has it gets it into Darwin Nunez and I'm just gonna go for a bit of a run here on the three star weak foot he finds the near post not a bad finish at all he did scuff it very badly it looked very weird I won't lie but he managed to find the top corner with it nonetheless heading on to the second half of this match Modric with some very good skill to keep possession gets that pass off into um Rutelas, if I'm not mistaken, Papan gives it back to her, she finds Darwin Nunez, takes the touch and just passes it beautifully into the back of the net and he does have a hat-trick on his debut. Good finishing from Darwin Nunez and we do end up, like I said, getting a hat-trick on his debut. But anyway, we're not done just yet, we come right back down here with um, Papan as good dribbling, it's a clever pass over the top. I'm just going to test out the creative abilities on the card, gets away from Simakan and plays it across goal for Dennis Burkamp who's able to finish that beautifully and we do end up getting the first assist of this video with Darwin Nunez and can we get a goal here though in the next game? Yes we can. Pretty good fake shot from him, that's pretty much all you can do and he's able to create that little pocket of space for himself and he's able to then take the shot and convert and we do end up getting another goal with him in yet another game. But anyway, that was that for that match, heading on to the next one here. Papan can't make that pass, Vitellas makes the interception, Kovacic plays that into Darwin Nunez, that's a lovely turn and the finish is absolutely fantastic, smashes it as hard as he can into the back of the net, great finish from Darwin Nunez following a good turn, good strength shown there as well. Heading on to the next clip here, Kovacic has it, gets it into Darwin Nunez, I'm just going to test out the pace on the card, he gets away from his man, cuts inside, lays it off and he is able to convert as well, I was scared that Webster might actually end up blocking our shot. Why Webster's in the box, I'm not quite too sure. But anyway, here Fernando comes in with a good tackle, plays it off to Darwin Nunes. Good ball to get away from his first man, and Papan just stabs it over the top. And Dennis Burkham runs through on goal and tucks it away. But all that possible because of the good holder play from Darwin Nunes, and we were able to end up scoring all because of that. Here Darwin Nunes has it again, good strength, very jammy, bundles his way through, and I made sure that he got the goal at the end of it because it was. His hard work to get us in that position in the first place. So good finish from him after making sure that we were able to get through. Here Darwin Nunes with a good hold up header. Papan sends it through to Dennis Burkamp who is obviously through on goal. And is able to almost tuck it away. But this guy's goalkeeper, I'm not sure what he's doing. But Darwin Nunes is there on hand, right place at the right time. And is able to convert. That celebration was a mistake. I was trying to do the Sue celebration. But I mean, it is what it is. Heading on to the next clip. 
one of the last clips of this video. This is the last match, if I'm not mistaken. Darwin Nunez has it. Good skill, skips away from Putellas, gets it into Fernando. And I thought, why not go for goal? And he's able to smash that into the near post. Very, very surprising finish from Fernando there. But we were able to score nonetheless. Anyway, this was the last game with this Darwin Nunez card. And he pretty much didn't really do anything besides score some penalties, I guess. This was the first penalty. We eventually do get the Suru celebration. And from the second one, I'm just going to go for Chiki Panenka down the middle. Keeper dives. And like I said, that was it for the last clips of this video. And with that being said, it is time now to actually go ahead and review this 82 rated gold Darwin Nunez. So guys, as you will see from the play bio in just a second, all at striker, this goal return is absolutely phenomenal. 14 goal contributions in 8 games and he does a lot more for the team as well as able to drop back, create chances. His aerial ability is a threat all the time. If you just knock it up to him, he'll win the header and you can just play off him from there. As you guys saw, he has done that several times in this video and genuinely this guy is honestly pretty good but I will discuss how to use him and if you should try him out as your evolutions player. Now when it comes down to the accurate details, I think the pace is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.2 out of 10 because you're not really expecting him to be that quick acceleration type of guy. You're expecting him to take the ball and sprint forward and hold off players while doing so. And I think he is very good at doing that. So pace gets a 9.2, actually a 9.1 out of 10. Shooting is solid. Long shots haven't really gotten a chance to test that really because it's Darwin Nunez, he's a get in behind type of striker. But the finishing on the card is decent enough, the attack positioning is solid, he makes very good runs actually. He's got the high work rates, he's got good strength to hold of players while making the run as well. So for shooting, I'm going to go ahead and give him an 8.3 out of 10. I feel as though it is pretty solid. Passing is decent, it's not great, nothing special. He can make a short pass and he can connect the play. But all in all, it's really not this card's strong suit, so I'm going to go ahead and give him a 7 out of 10 for passing. Dribbling, again, not the card's strong suit, he's more of that strong physical type of guy. But he can control the ball and walk around if he really, really has to. So dribbling gets a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Physical on the card is solid, he does last the full 90, he jumps up very high to in headers. And the strength and aggression on the card is phenomenal as well, he's able to hold off a lot of players. And with the boost that he will get for the physical from the evolution stats and upgrades obviously i think the physical is going to be absolutely crazy and this card in general will be absolutely crazy so with that being said is this card worth the coins i think he is very expensive because of the evolutions but all in all should you get him should you use him as your evolutions card yes i feel the 84 rated darwin nunez will be absolutely crazy even at the start of this game if you want to just get this darwin nunez to play around and have in your team 100% go for it, one of the best starter team strikers that you could possibly get in the Premier League. So I 100% recommend it. And with that being said, I do bring an end to this video. So if you like this, smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.